India's Folklorama Pavilion gives guests a taste of the country's culture. You can sample traditional dishes, try on a sari or turban, and catch the colorful show. CTV's John Hendricks joins us now from inside that pavilion. John, it looks like you're getting into the spirit of things tonight. I am indeed getting into the spirit, Mary Lee. I was hoping that I might be able to maybe do a mini Bollywood movie here. I got the uh, clothing for it and everything. Unfortunately, I'm told you are not able to shoot an entire movie here at this pavilion. But you can do an awful lot while you are here. And that includes everything from getting some really authentic clothing here. They've got uh, some traditional saris that they're going to be putting on people here, turbans. Uh, you can see a lot of their cultural artifacts and, of course, sample all of the food. We are going to have much more from here at the India Pavilion coming up in a little bit. So we'll send it back to you. Performers will soon take the stage for the first show of the night at Folklorama's India Pavilion. It's a country known for its kind and considerate hospitality. CTV's John Hendricks is soaking it all in tonight. So, John, what have you learned? Uh, quite a bit. I've learned that I will likely never be able to do traditional Indian dancing, no matter how much I try. So I'm not going to subject all of you to that. So you should be thankful for that. Now, one of the great things about Folklorama that it really is your opportunity not just to travel the world, but to experience some of the things that you will get around the world and that includes getting a traditional henna tattoo right here at the India Pavilion. Aruna Hingwala, she's the tattoo artist that's working right now. She's been doing this for four decades and pretty intricate is what I'm my seeing. Sister Usa with my sister Usa. You've been doing this for quite some time. How difficult is it to do? It's not a difficult, just lots of practice and practice. That's it. I suppose you don't want to have any unhappy customers, right? So no, attention no. to detail important. Yeah, it's important. Everybody what? Is happy. Most probably, everybody is happy, and they are coming every time in so many festivals. So we are happy to that. Hear that, everyone? She says that everyone is happy when they get a henna tattoo here at Folklorama at the India Pavilion. Uh, obviously, I'm not seeing a lot of just moms or hearts. These are very, very detailed tattoos. What sort of inspiration do you look to when you're creating your creations? Just uh, we do the customer is happy and like design and whatever they want, we do design same whatever they like uh, she would be happy to do whatever design you would like at the uh, right here and it is all at the india pavilion so we're going to send it back to you merely who knows i may even get one of these myself we'll see Bright sorry, sweet samosa, and gracious hosts are welcoming guests tonight at Folklorama's India Pavilion. The show has just started, and we have a live look at it for you now. Well, the Festival of India will be taking over the Marion Dewar Plaza at Ottawa City Hall this weekend, and they have big things planned. With more, we're joined by festival organizer Gautam Subra. Good morning. Hi, Melissa. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Fantastic. Looking forward to an exciting weekend at the Festival yes. of India. So it all kicks off today. Can you tell us what you have planned? Sure. Uh, today we've got our opening ceremonies. We mm -hmm. have lighting of the lamp. We've got Jordan John, a great blues artist. Uh, that's this evening. And of course, we've got delicious food cooked by our volunteers. Okay, so let's talk more about the festival. It starts today, but it runs right through till Sunday. So lots planned. Lots planned. It costs $12 a day to get in, or okay. a festival pass is $20 for the whole weekend. Fantastic. We've got workshops, wellness workshops, yoga workshops. We've got games of cricket. You can learn how to play cricket. Fun. We're going to reenact the Festival of Holi, where you throw colored powder at each other. Mm -hmm. We've got great music. 
and of course food. We've got some vendors, we've got workshops so you can taste the food and learn how to cook oh. it. And let's talk more about the food. So many del delicious vendors you say. The flavors are something like no other culture has. That's right and there's so much diversity and we're going to feature dishes from all over India. Mm -hmm. And we're building up to a really big splash next year which is the 150th anniversary of Canada. Right. So we're planning for that as well. Perfect. So let's talk about five years. How has this festival grown over the last five years? It's grown quite a lot. We've been at the current site for four years. Um, I'm a volunteer with the festival. It's entirely run by volunteers. All our food's cooked on site by the volunteers. We're growing bigger and bigger and we're expecting uh, five, six, seven, eight thousand people this weekend. Wow, that's pretty incredible. Yeah. So let's talk about next year moving into the 150 years of Canada. What do you guys have planned? Can't let all those surprises oh, out, but we're going to tease secret. you and okay. you're going to see some of the dance uh, tonight, well today right now, mm -hmm. that we're going to feature. Fun. And uh, we've got lots of surprises and okay. this year we've got a special puppet troupe from India. Oh, very nice. Yeah. Can you talk about the theme this year as well? Uh, the theme is start your incredible journey to incredible India with us and the other tagline that I use is food for your body, mind and soul. Mm. We've got yoga, we've got delicious food, we've got uh, workshops, dance, music, everything. And everything happening at Marion Dewar Plaza all weekend long. Right, at the corner of Elgin and Laurier and you can go to our website for more information and the full program details. Perfect, and we're going to see a dance this morning. Can you introduce who you have with us? Sure, we've got Ajita and Ananya. They're dancing in the Bharatanatyam style. It's very expressive. They're going to dance with Thilana. And please watch their eyebrows, their neck, their body. It's very intricate. Okay. Their guru, who's also here with us, is Sheila Chandrasekhar. Mm -hmm. She's been a great supporter of the festival. These two have been learning dance, Bharatanatyam dance, for about half their lives. Wow. And let's talk about the costumes. So elaborate and so beautiful. Exactly. And that's one of the things I wanted to mention. The festival in India has a lot of color. And mm -hmm. that's what you'll notice when you come to the festival. And their costumes are perfectly exemplify that. All the color. Takes a long time to put their costumes and their makeup yeah, on. They were telling me it takes about three hours to get ready. That's about right. Okay. And you're going to appreciate it all when you see them done. Perfect. They're fantastic. And Sheila's such a great supporter. I love it. Okay, well we're going to give you a little sneak peek right now. So ladies, we'll let you take it away. <laughs> will be held this Saturday and Malia is finding out what makes it so festive. Malia? Well, Steph, it's happening, like you said, this Saturday. There's so much to look forward to. Dancing is a very big part of the Indian culture. To talk about that, I've got the dancing sisters, Pratiksha and Mira. How are you doing this morning? We are excellent. Thank you. I love your outfits. Now, are these dancing outfits or what are they? This is the mix of folk outfit and uh, dancing jewelry. So it is not full dancing outfit, but yeah, it is a mix of this. Nice. Yeah. So Pratiksha, can you tell me why is dancing so important in the Indian culture? In the Indian culture, when you want, you are happy, you dance, you are sad, you are dance. And uh, especially this is spiritual event. And in spiritual event, we pray with the dancing and singing. So yeah, it is important in all aspect. And Mira, you are both going to be dancing this Saturday at Miwasan Park. How do you feel about that? A uh, little bit nervous because first time I am going to dance in the Saskatoon. So yeah, I am looking forward to see 
something good. <laughs> but, For yeah. sure. And I was watching you guys and it's, you're very in sync with each other. So I want to show everyone what you guys are about to do. But before we get to that, your husband, he's playing the drum. Can you tell me a little bit about the drum? Yeah, this is the two-headed uh, clay drum, and which is we are especially using for the kirtan. Mm -hmm. So kirtan community can join. So this dance, uh, what we are going to do, anybody can do. Not the, uh, but on the stage, we are going to do classical dance. So kirtan is the call and respond. So one person sing and the other people respond like that. And it is easy and we can just all, it's kind of folk we can dance together perfect so it gets everybody involved so okay let's show let's show everyone what you guys will be doing if you guys want to start Hare This is just a little sneak peek of what people will be seeing on Saturday at Miwasan Park. There's going to be dance, there's going to be theater, and I heard there's going to be free food. So that should be quite the appeal for people this Saturday. Definitely lots to look forward to. It's quite pretty to look at. What do you think? Very festive, Malia. Thanks for that sneak peek, and we'll check back in with you after 8. We are cooking up a storm. India Fest is just around the corner. So first, let's make some introductions. We have our chef, Tika Kise. Hey, see? How was that? Okay, Did I, that was okay? Close Ooh. enough. Um, and then we have Sudesh Bala. Yes. You are with India Fest. I'm the president of this organization. Okay, we've got the big cheese in here this morning. And then Indo Segal, you are also an event coordinator. coordinator. Yes. Okay, thank you all for being here and for feeding us this morning. <laughs> so, Indu, walk us through the spices because that is a major part of Indian food. You're right. Um, the main um, uh, spices that are used in everyday cooking are right here in this tray. Okay. And you can see there's a lot of them. Mm -hmm. To go through them all, it'll take me probably all day. Too long. All day. What are some of the main ones, though? Main ones are, um, are the cumin, cumin yeah. powder, coriander powder, okay. chili, and um, this is the whole cumin, and salt and pepper, and turmeric. Oh, These okay. are the basic spices that are goes into almost every uh, dish we make. Okay, well we're making butter chicken, chicken. this morning. So Perfect. should we get cooking, Tika? Yes. Okay, Tika, put the oil in the pan. And now Tika is going to put the oil and uh, we use all the fresh in ingredients. Now he's going to put the chopped onion. Okay. And, See, when the uh, president tells you what to do, you listen, right? Yeah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then uh, a little bit garlic, a little bit uh, Ginger or a lot of garlic. A lot of uh, small can... amount garlic. Really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> small amount. You don't want to overdo. It. And <laughs> you use all the fresh it. ingredients, and now you put the fresh tomatoes, and um, uh, after that you put a uh, little bit uh, uh, puri tomato. Okay. It's crushed tomatoes. Okay. It gives a nice color, a little bit, not too much. <laughs> Come <Once>. on, Tika. <laughs> <laughs> we are Once. like speed making this butter uh, chicken. Okay. It's first amazing. cilantro. Uh, okay, now this is the way we make the mixture and we put a little bit of water, water. Okay. and we just cover this. Okay, pick up, move, move the spatula okay. and move this. Now this is, That's this is the finished product we have. That is the magic of TV. <laughs> <laughs> we can move to this one. Okay. So that's what it would look like. How long do you want it on for until it looks like this? Okay, uh, just for uh, five minutes if okay. the cover is on. Let me chip in here. Okay, this okay? is the chicken we are going to make. Okay. So uh, is this chicken thigh or breast? Or? It's, a, it's a boneless thigh. Boneless thigh. It's uh, almost uh, six pieces and I, here, sorry. I <laughs> cut into uh, three pieces. And now Tikka is going to put uh, spices, the dry spices, a little bit turmeric, Tikka. And a little bit uh, ground uh, coriander. Okay. And a little bit uh, whole uh, uh, cumin seeds. Green. So is this one of the dishes you can, you can have this at India Fest, right? This is just one of the many yes. delicious oh, yes. things. This is our main menu going to be. Okay. Uh, 
Chikka put some tomato puri in it, a little bit. Uh, because you we need a little, okay, just a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and now we are going to use three minutes. Uh, this is um, uh, either you can use um, coffee cream oh, or you okay. can use whipped cream. We are using whipped cream, not too much, just a uh, couple of uh, tablespoons. That's good. And now you stir it, tikka. Once you're done, and now, uh, with the chicken curry, if you want uh, liquidy, um, sauce. Uh, big, more sauce, okay. you put the water in it. Okay. Tikka, keep on stirring. You always want lots of sauce, right? I feel, I yeah, feel like... because you're eating with the rice or with the bread. Yes. So you need some uh, sauce in it. Okay. Once you do that, and uh, you put the cover and simmer it for half an hour on a very low heat. Okay, I'm sweating and I haven't done anything. This was very fast. It looks amazing. This is Halifax Forum. Yes. Happening tonight? No, it's happening I on mean, 12th of August. 12th of August, okay. 13th and 14th of August. Three days okay. we have this festival. And Tikka is the main chef. He owns a restaurant in the brewery. Okay. He's going, he's going to have a, a food stall there. Well, can and I this try is a quick finished bite product. We go? Yeah, sure. There's a ready product over there. And yes. So. Yeah, please get in here. Yeah, come on in. I want you to taste and, and uh, I'm gonna squeeze it. Yeah, ideas. sure. Come on, some Indian music it? going on here. Oh, oh yes, this is a regular party. Priya, get over here. Where's Priya? Where's Cyril? I think so Cyril's running like, from uh, Montana right some now. Some people they have a wrong impression about that Indian food is hot. That's Actually, not hot. you make it hot only if you use these chilies, and if you use uh, green chilies. It becomes hot. If you don't eat, touch those, mm. it's then the it's not hot. Okay. It's a nice flavor. And I it's find pepper flavor. spicy, and that's not spicy. Yes, yeah, I want you to it. try. And, you. Uh, you can, uh, right. you can that's uh, a finished product. Make it hot to your taste, okay. whatever yes. you like, and. Um, and also, if uh, some people are allergic to dairy products, you don't have to mm -hmm. put cream in. Right. You okay. just use the spice and uh, balance of. Uh, uh, Fresh ingredients that and the spices. Thank you for feeding oh, wow. us this morning. Delicious. Oh, delicious. We're going to be eating, but we're going to take a quick break first. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yum. We're coming up after the break. How delicious so is that? Good. I know. That is delicious. Thank you for coming in. Yeah, thank you so much. That's so yummy.